Hello everyone, we will continue the topic types of internal tables and in the previous video we started with sorted internal table and we covered the first two points. We declared the sorted internal table. Whenever we will declare the sorted internal table, we need to specify the key or column on which particular column or key we want to do the sorting. So we declared the sorted internal table. Now you can go for unique key also. You can go for non-unique key also. Now we will come on to the third point. And in this video and in the next video, we will cover so many important point and conceptual point for the sorted internal table. And we will see, yes, we will go for various permutation and combinations here. What is the third point for the sorted internal table? Records can be inserted. If you remember, in case of standard internal table, we told record can be insert also, record can be append also. There is in case of standard, we can use both. But in case of sorted internal table, we will only only go for insert. We will not go for append. And you all know very well what is the difference between insert and append. Insert, insert the record at any position inside the internal table. But append always, always insert at the last. So in this video, we will do so many practical in terms of various permutation combination. Why, why we should not go for append. So for the best clarity, what I will do. In this sorted internal table, I will firstly insert the records using append. Then we will see why, why we should not go for append. Suppose I will simply go for suppose LT underscore data internal table only. I will comment LT underscore data one. I will comment this right statement also. So we have a sorted internal table LT underscore data and unique key is order number unique. Now I will declare the work area. LWA underscore data type LTY underscore data. Now I will insert the records to this sorted internal table using append first. I'm writing work area hyphen order number. Suppose I'm inserting order number one to the work area. I'm going for payment mode C to the work area. I am appending this record to the internal table. I will say to the sorted internal table. So LT data is sorted internal table. I will clear the work area also. Now we told that order number will be unique, unique. It means I cannot go for duplicate values of order number. And then I will show you duplicate values also. Firstly, I will go for unique values of order number. Suppose I will now go for one more record. Suppose I'm saying order number two, payment mode C. Order number three, payment mode C. 
Suppose I'm going for order number four, payment mode C. I'm going for order number five, suppose payment mode C. So we inserted five records to the sorted internal table using append statement. Now I will display. I will put a loop on the sorted internal table. Now we will simply, simply go for write statement. I will go for write work area hyphen order number work area hyphen payment mode. I'll check the syntax and activate. Okay, I'll just comment this part also. This was just my practice logic. You should just focus on this logic. Ignore that logic. Yes, that was only for my practice purpose. Now I will show you in the debugging mode. I will go for execute. If you see, currently I'm on 19th number line. My sorted internal table has zero records. I'm going for F6 line by line execution. F6, F6. Now in this internal table, we have the first record. And this is the index. Now we cleared the work area. We inserted the second record to the internal table. We inserted the third record to the internal table. We inserted the fourth record and then we inserted the fifth record. Have you seen? We inserted the five records to the internal table. And what we told, it is a sorted internal table based upon which column order number. Is this a sorted data based upon order number? Yes, because we put the sorted data. We put order number one, two, three, four, five, and we told it is a unique. What is the unique? We declared unique key order number. So have we duplicated the order number? No, we have passed the unique value of the order number. So in this case, it is perfectly fine. We will simply, simply get the output because with the help of append, we simply, simply inserted that data, but we put that data in the sorted order. So no problem, it worked fine. But yes, it will not work. Suppose what I will do, I will simply, simply cut this logic. Suppose firstly, I will insert order number five then I will insert order number four. And now we will see how it will work. I will go for syntax check and I will activate. Now I will run. Important point is, and these are the common mistakes which we will do. Now we told LT data is a sorted internal table based upon order number. Now we are going for first record in the internal table. Order number one, perfectly fine. No error up to this level. Order number two, perfectly fine because data is in sorted order up to this level. Now order number three, no problem. It is perfectly fine. Now I'm here up to this level. Now I'm going for order number five. I'm going for order number five. 
we appended we inserted using append statement so five will go after three only up to this level also no problem because data is in sorted order one two three five now the problem will come now we are going for order number four we are appending order number we are inserting order number four to the sorted internal table using which particular operation append it means order number four will go here whenever order number four will go here we are violating the we told it is a sorted internal table based upon order number and we are putting four after five so in this case system will simply simply throw a runtime error have you seen it is clearly clearly saying you cannot go for inserting of this particular record that's why we should always always take care we should never never use append with the sorted internal table see if you are sure that you will put data into sorted order always then you can go for append but that is never never possible so you should never never use append because append always insert at the last of the internal table and if you are putting a record which is not in the sorted order then system will throw the runtime error so we should take care that in case of our sorted internal table we should not use append now the question comes if we will not go for append then what we need to use we need to use insert insert and yes whenever i will use insert you will clearly clearly understand how how it is easy to use insert because insert always insert at the specific position it can insert at anywhere in the sorted internal table and it will just make the data in the sorted order only now what i will do rather than append now i will go for insert and i will show you how it will work suppose rather than append now i will go for insert we all know what is the syntax of insert insert work area into now i will write table so we are inserting the record to sorted internal table using insert statement so i am going for insert i am going for insert i am going for insert and i am going for insert and see i am not inserting data in sorted order but it will perfectly work fine because we are using insert statement it will perfectly work fine because after putting 5 into the internal table whenever we will use insert to insert order number 4 it will automatically go above 5 it will automatically go above 5 order number only this is the main benefit because append is going at the last but insert will automatically go at the particular position I am talking about sorted internal table only sorted internal table. Now, I will simply simply check the syntax and I will show you in the debugging mode to make you the clarity. Now, if I will put a breakpoint, if I will go to desktop 3, 
I will show you sorted internal table. You can see as of now, first record. Now we have the second record in the internal table. If you don't know debugging up to this level, no problem. Just at least do F6, 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 because F6 is line by line execution. And we have a separate playlist. You can learn debugging from that playlist also. Now I'm going for third record into the internal table. Now we are going for fourth record into the internal table. Up to this level, when we used append also, no problem. But now we are inserting the record using insert statement. Now, whenever I will go for insert, it is perfectly fine. Have you seen the order number four automatically go above five order number? This is the main benefit, yes, because the definition is itself insert, insert, add anywhere inside the internal table. And in case of sorted internal table, it will automatically insert the record in sorted position, sorted position, sorted order itself. This is the main, main benefit of insert. In case of sorted, I'm specifically using the word sorted internal table. Now we are simply displaying and it is perfectly, perfectly fine. So what is the summary of this video? In this video, we covered the extremely important point from the interview perspective, from the understanding perspective that we should never use append in case of sorted internal table. Why? Because append always insert the record at the last. So it means if you are not inserting the record in sorted order, whatever the key you will specify, system will throw runtime error. Because for system, that record is not in the sorted order. So it means in that case, in case of sorted internal table, always make a practice to use insert internal table operation. Insert, you all know, it insert the record at any position inside the internal table. And insert, in case of sorted internal table, insert the data at sorted position only. This is the main benefit. And now in the next video, we will further further do more more important points on the sorted internal table. So that's it in this video. Thank you.